Okay, I'm going to resin this real quick. Everybody keeps asking me, so. All I need is one of my cheap flat brushes, Mr. Resin, UV resin, and a lamp. All right. So what I do is I drizzle in the middle. How much um, depends on how thick the rock is, obviously. But um, what you want is to find just the right amount, not too little and not too much. Too little is better than not enough because you can always add. If you put too much on, it drips all over the place and you end up with a big mess. So start in the middle and I just work my way around and you can see my brush strokes hopefully like this. I keep the brush not flat but at like a 45 degree angle on the on the rock and then I just move the resin around and I always bring my strokes around I, I don't go under or down because that provides a pathway for the fluid to fall and then it'll just drip off the rock and you don't want that to get all over your hands you can wear gloves when you do this it's probably preferred to wear gloves I don't because I've got to a point where I don't get it on my hands anymore But I just do even strokes and you can see where the brush strokes appear but then they disappear. That means I have a perfect level of resin I, and I don't have too much because I'm not dripping. And then I just go around the sides one last time. Make sure everything's even. And if it's not even you can always add more. If you need to, you can always cure it and then add more. I do that a lot. I do a thin coat and then I cure it and then I add more. And when I'm doing these round skipper rocks, I generally always put them on a little pedestal rock so that um, any resin that might be on the curve of the bottom of the rock doesn't touch my surface and because it will cure to the paper or whatever it's sitting on. Um, I also have used a silicone mat in the past, which might be the simplest way for a lot of people because balancing that rock is probably not the easiest thing. And then I just put the lamp on and it's a four minute cure time. So those of you who've seen me do this before, it's two minutes this direction. And then I take the lamp and I move it so that I get this part of the rock that doesn't get the full UV. I turn it 90 degrees and I do two minutes in this direction. Just like that. I'm gonna pause it. All right, so it's been four minutes. Turn that off. Okay. So, four minutes. No longer sticky. It's all cured and ready to go. And you can see I don't have bubbles. Um, no pits. Just a full, smooth surface. I have a couple of little bumps where the paint is but that's just paint popping through or not popping through but like the uneven surface of the paint and <clears throat> I would normally probably go right back over this with another coat so that um, it's thicker and it doesn't you you don't have the bumps um, and it's smooth as glass 
So I would typically just go, there's no sanding or anything needed like you do with a two-part epoxy resin. You just add resin right back, UV resin right back over top of it and spread it and cure it and it's good to go. Um, and then what I do with my brush in between, don't wash it. When it's damp with resin, I take a dry paper towel and I grab it tightly and I pull. These are throwaway brushes, but they can be reused over and over and over again until you accidentally cure the resin on them or they get a little stiff and then you throw them away. I usually throw mine away every two or three days. All right, that's it. Thank you.